Hello, this is Mob TV. I am Naomi Onyebile. This is what's trending. Firstly, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has been told to arrest former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Tanku Muhammad, immediately. This was after Tanku Muhammad resigned as a CGN on Monday, citing health issues. According to Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Furiwa, the resignation of Muhammad was not enough to clear him of corruption allegations leveled against him by the 14 justices of the Supreme Court. In a statement signed by Comrade Emmanuel Onwiko, Furiwa's national coordinator, the group reminded Nigerians that the 14 Supreme Court justices had recently petitioned Tanko and alleged diversion of their welfare funds. Prior to his resignation, Tanko denied the allegations. The justices maintained that the retired CGN must not be allowed to leave freely. Secondly, the former Deputy Senate President, Ike Ekwemadu, and his wife, Beatrice, have sued the National Identity Management Commission, NIC, NIMC, and others over the controversy surrounding David Upo's real age. Others mentioned in the suit are the Comptroller General, CG, Nigeria Immigration Service, NIS, Stambik IBTC Bank, United Bank of Africa, UBA, and Nigeria Interbank Settlement System, PLC. Before Justice Iyang Eko of a federal high court, Ni Abuja, the Ekremados prayed the court for an order directing the NIMC to supply them with the certified true copy CTC of the biodata information of David Nwamini Upo. The applicant said Upo's national identification number, NIN 19438077110, which is in the possession of the agency, should be produced for the purpose of facilitating the criminal investigation and tendering same to establish their innocence with respect to Upo's to Upo's age in the criminal charges against them before the Oxbridge Magistrate Court in the United Kingdom. An order of the court was sought directing the Stambik IBTC Bank to supply the applicant with the, with the certified true copy of mandate card and account opening package of account number 0032551834 maintained by its customer, UPO, with bank verification number 22509616391 in the custody of the bank for the purpose of tendering same to establish the innocence of the applicant with respect to his age in the criminal charges filed against the applicants. An order of the court was sought directing UBA to supply the applicant with certified true copy of mandate card and account opening package of account number 21957395574, maintained by UPO with bank verification number 22509616391 in the custody of the bank for the purpose of tendering the same to establish the innocence of the applicants. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has expressed its anger against former President Olusegun Obasanjo over his recent comments that he made a mistake by appointing Alhaji Atiku Abubakar as his vice president in 1999. The party threatened to expose the former president if he fails to clarify the statement within 48 hours. Addressing reporters in Kaduna, the chairman of the PDP Board of Trustees, BOT, Senator Walid Jibrin, said he and the party hold Obasanjo in high esteem. The Federal High Court in Abuja on Tuesday dismissed a fresh application for bail by the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu. The application was filed pending the determination of the treasonable felony the application was filed pending the determination of the treasonable felony, felony charge against him by the federal government. The IPOB leader told the court that contrary to the federal government's allegation that he jumped bail, he fled for his life after his hometown at Fa Afaruku Ibeku in Umwahia, Abia State, was invaded by soldiers, which he said 
led to the death of 28 persons. Meanwhile, dismissing the bail request on Tuesday, Justice Binta Nyako said she was not satisfied with the reason the IPOP leader gave for his failure to appear in court for the continuation of his trial. The court maintained that Kano must explain the reason why he breached the previous bill that was given to him before he could enjoy another favorable discretion from it. Meanwhile, the case has been adjourned till November 14th for mention to await the outcome of Kanu's appeal. And that's the news for today. I remain Naomi Unyebule. Many thanks for watching.